In other words, it's a common theme in my writing that a dark-haired girl shows up at the door of the protagonist and tells him that his world is delusional, that there's something false about it. Well, this did finally happen to me. I even knew that her hair would be black. I had an actual complete sense of what she would look like and what she would say. She did appear, she was a total stranger, and she did inform me of this fact, that some of my fictional works were in a literal sense true. I wrote out these dreams in novel after novel, story after story, to name two in which this prior ugly present obtained most clearly. I cite The Man in the High Castle and my 1974 novel about the U.S. as a police state called Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said. I'm going to be very candid with you. I wrote both novels based on fragmentary residual memories of such a horrid slave state world. People claim to remember past lives. I claim to remember a different, very different present life. I know of no one who has ever made this claim before, but I rather suspect that my experience is not unique. What perhaps is unique is the fact that I am willing to talk about it.